hello everyone and welcome to a new studio vlog in the kitchen look at this fun sign that andrew got <gasps> welcome to december welcome to this christmas vlog let me just quickly address straight away i am not doing vlogmas this year i I'd love to do it. I would love to do it. I really like having the kind of the record of the lead up to Christmas and all the kind of, you know, the family footage and all that stuff. I just, I'm already feeling quite overwhelmed. I've got a load of stuff to do both professionally and, you know, social engagement wise. And I feel like if I put the extra requirement of vlogging on a daily basis and specifically the editing as well i'm just not going to be able to do it it is not happening this year oh well but instead you get this vlog so hopefully it's going to be a good one i don't know yet we'll see i thought we could start this vlog with a very exciting unboxing and that would be the unboxing of the veg box good right not the unboxing you were expecting all right we got a nice double chin up the nostril angle coming for our veg box unboxing. So uh, that doesn't have the brand name on it. Here, Riverford, not sponsored. We've had a Riverford box on and off for like, I don't know, over a decade. Uh, and I love them. The, veg the vegetables taste so good. Not cheap, but worth it. We got some courgettes. Yay, courgettes. Didn't like courgettes when I was little, but because they always they are plentiful in the Riverford boxes. I have learned to love them. Uh, and actually, yeah, actually, like, I'm not kidding. I really, really like them. Parsnips, these are the first parsnips that we've got this year. I'm very excited. It must be because it's been frosty because I think frost is required to turn the starch into sugar or whatever. I mean, you can look it up, whatever. But we've got a Savoy cabbage, very nice. I've still got the Savoy cabbage from the previous box in the fridge, so uh, half of it, I think. We get a box delivered every two weeks because i feel like every week is too overwhelming that will just like i'll just be like having vegetables coming out of my ears for illustration purposes but once every two weeks is perfect because we use it all up, all up and nothing goes to waste and it's really good some onions very good good staple always can use more onions we've got some very um very dirty potatoes no not potatoes <laughs> i'm looking at potatoes carrots with a lot of dirt on them. I also feel like when they've got a lot of dirt on them, they actually stay uh, good for longer. Maybe that's just like placebo effect. I'm not sure. Uh, now we've got potatoes as well. So we've got, I don't know, a bunch of them. And then very exciting in this box, something that I have never had before is this little squash. It's got a name. I forgot, it was in the email. I don't remember. It, Editing Iris is gonna put it here on the screen so you'll know what kind of squash this is. I'm very curious. I look forward to having this one. Uh, okay, yeah. Veg box unboxing. This is what you watch my vlogs for. It's nice and random. Yeah, welcome to a new vlog. Hello. I am going to attempt to do my makeup whilst I talk to you. Other YouTubers can do it, so maybe so can I. I am doing my makeup because I am filming a uh, little intro, face-to-camera intro, for my Wanderlust lesson. I don't think I have talked about it yet. I am filming currently in the process of filming my Wanderlust 2024 lesson. I have managed to film all of the overhead material, so like all of the like lesson teaching stuff is done but now i always kind of divide my um my lessons up into several different sections like so i have a real structure and uh, a face to camera intro is definitely part of that uh, and a face to camera outro i like to do that too that's what i am doing today uh, or right now actually well once i've done my makeup i'm going to be doing that I film the overhead stuff first because that is the biggest obstacle to me. That's the thing that I get most up in my head about. And then once that's done, it kind of motivates me to film the face to camera intro because if I did that first and then I had to do my makeup first in order to film uh, a face to camera intro, I, I would just never get it done. So like I schedule these things and I kind of structure these things and I 
order the to-do list in such a way that I can kind of work with myself rather than against myself. Story of my life. Because I do like to work against myself and then get nothing done. I don't actually do my makeup very often, at least not like a full kind of like, including what's this called, foundation stuff. I don't know why, because I'm lazy maybe? That's the easy answer, isn't it? It's probably not the real answer. I, I'd love to live a life in which like makeup wasn't really necessary. It's complicated, yo, it's complicated. I like the way I look when I put on makeup. I, you know, it's kind of like, you know, like enhancing what's already there. Uh, I really like that. But at the same time, I feel like my feelings around makeup are quite complex and um, they have a lot to do, I think, with self-worth and that feeling of like, well, gosh, I like the way I look better when I put makeup on, but you know, I just want to be loved for me. I want to be loved without makeup. And I feel like that's, yeah, I haven't quite figured that out yet. So I don't want to be then to kind of go the other way and all like kind of belligerently not wear makeup because that doesn't feel right either. But I also don't want to be stuck feeling like I must wear makeup because otherwise I don't like myself or I'm afraid I won't be liked or I don't like what I see in the mirror. And you know, some, some days I'm tired and not wearing makeup and I look in the mirror and I'm like, I mean, most days I'm tired and not wearing makeup. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, and then some days I don't wear makeup and I'm not tired and I think, oh, I kind of look kind of cute. And then I, if I wear makeup, I also think like, oh, I look kind of cute. I like that. Anyway, I read this book recently, young adult fiction. It is called You Could Be So Pretty. I have forgotten who it's by, but editing Iris will put the book cover here. I don't have the book itself. I read digitally most of the time uh, and I borrow books from the library digitally so you know and i have just a black and white kindle so no pretty covers but uh, in any case yes i read this book it's like a dystopian fiction type of book about beauty standards and it's set in this kind of different world but it is remarkably like our own and it's very hyperbolic but at the same time it starts you thinking and going like, okay, this book is really hyperbolic, but isn't this actually exactly the way it is? And especially like, maybe not so much for like me in my late thirties with a fairly established sense of identity and, you know, friends and a job in which, apart from when I put a camera on, I don't really feel particularly like, uh, like I have to fit in or anything. But for younger people, younger girls especially, I feel like this book is really interesting in what it says about like beauty standards, free choice, feminism, and social media and pressure. And it's really interesting. Uh, and I thought it was a it was a bit of a difficult read in some places, like uncomfortable. Uh, but it's also written in such a way that you can just like read it very easily. So recommend if you are um, if you are looking for a next book to read. What else do I want to update you on? Okay, so I'm having I it's the lead up to Christmas. And obviously like this is such a busy time. People are like, oh, do you want to come to this? Do you want to come to this? And I'm like, oh my God, I got too many things in my diary. And I'm kind of just trying to just stick to the things I have to do as in professionally, uh, the things I want to do socially, um, but not too many things. And then, yeah, I'm just saying no to a lot of the other things. Um, and I'm just hoping I mean, at this point in time, I'm just like fingers crossed that I will stay healthy for the next week and a half. Yeah, week and a few days, because I have got my uh, Christmas choir concert on uh, Thursday next week. So it's Wednesday right now. So it's a week in a week and a day. I've got one more rehearsal on Monday. I am, uh, I'm not nervous. I will be a little bit nervous on the day, I think, but I'm not super nervous because I get so much comfort from doing things as a group, to be honest. Like if I was doing something by myself, I would feel mega nervous. I feel more nervous about like filming a lesson than I do about choir performance. But I am still in that uh, stage where I need to do a lot of learning. I feel like when I first joined my choir in 2019, I didn't have as full a life as I had, as I do now. So I had a lot more time to practice, um, not just time, but also like dedication and maybe also worry. I was definitely propelled by worry of like being not good enough and stuff. And these days I'm much more like, you know, my skill in 
like singing and reading music and hearing kind of music has in improved a lot. So I can actually be a lot more lazy. <laughs> But um, at the same time, that also comes back to bite me in the ass when it comes to learning all of the music because we sing completely off book. We don't have, uh, we don't hold music when we're performing. I need to know all of the words. The notes I'm fine with, like my brain has just absorbed that type of stuff almost like automatically just by listening to it enough. But the words, the words. So I. Um, at the moment, I'm just doing a little bit every day, learning the words, making sure that I know the words correctly, one step at a time, which is the only way that you can do anything. Oh, and talking about fun social things, so another reason why my makeup will come in handy is I'm going out tonight and I am going ice skating with a couple of my friends. I'm a bit nervous. I'm Dutch, as you probably know, so I grew up ice skating. I haven't actually ice skated in... I haven't been on ice on skates for about 10 years. And then even so, I haven't properly ice skated since I was a kid, pretty much. We'll see. Obviously, I've been rollerblading. Not this year. Not even last year, I don't think. I still probably have the skill or some of the skills required. I will probably not have the muscles required. All I do for exercise these days is just walk. I am excited. Very wisely, we decided we'll go for dinner afterwards, not before. We do like to drink a glass of wine. And I think having a glass of wine before ice skating does not sound like a good idea. Wine after. Ice skating first. And then wine after. And that's going to be great. Oh my god, it's December and my skin is so dry. It's like so flaky. Oh, keeping it real. Charming. Before I go and record this bit, let me give you a very quick sneak peek of my artwork for this lesson. So this lesson is on Wanderlust 2024. Um, and if you uh, are on the course, uh, you can still sign up by the way link in the description blah 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 but if you're on the course i really hope that you will do my lesson and it's coming quite early on in the year like mid january like 19th of january something like that so i've lost it now i don't know where it is oh there it is there it is okay so this is the artwork uh that i made and uh that's what i'm going to be demoing and talking through and kind of guiding you to make something similar or guiding you to express something that has a similar vibe and similar meaning to you even if it doesn't look like this that's always kind of the point of my lessons it's not necessarily about making my art like why would you want to make my art you know you'd want to make your own art <laughs> i'm just stepping onto my soapbox now but that's in any case the uh the artwork that i made and that you'll see in that lesson so if you are on wanderlust 2024 i really hope that you will check it out when it comes out ride that wave of the motivation of the start of the year thank you for your attention listening to me Jack for this long and I'm going to use this phone to record my intro. I will speak to you later. Hello. Hello. A better angle. I don't know.
don't know, I want to get the tree in. Coming at you festive grandma style, wearing this jumper um, because my choir mates decided that today we would all wear Christmas jumpers or something festive to choir. And I don't actually have any Christmas clothes, so I borrowed this off of Jupiter. And it's actually only one size too small, so haha, <laughs> success. Oh, and I've also got this. Success and these that I made, I think last year, just in time for Christmas. Anyway, um, let me give you an update. Who got herself a Fortnite injury? That was me. I uh, spent most of Saturday playing Fortnite uh, because during the week I don't really get much time for gaming or hobbies or whatever. Anyway, I hit the ground running on Saturday and I played it loads. And then in the evening I was like, I think I've pulled a muscle, I guess, uh, intensively playing Fortnite and obviously being really tense about trying to kill the pixels it was not great. So anyway, much better today. Very excited about my festive jumper, but what is going on in life? I don't know. Oh yes, there isn't really any art in this vlog and I don't think there is going to be. I simply do not have time at the moment, but I am hoping to get some time for art later this week. But by that time, I will no longer be vlogging this vlog because I want to get on and edit this vlog, which I've actually already been doing. Oh my God, this is so random. Like, oh, you don't need to know this. I've already been editing this vlog. It's very fun. You're in for a treat. You've already just watched it. So I hope you agree. <laughs> I was watching it back though. And I am, you know, I'm, I'm pleased to be sharing about like creativity and, you know, lesson making and beauty standards and whatever. It's just, it's all about that creative life, right? Creative life to me is a lot more than just painting and it includes veg boxes. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it for me for this vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here, watching my vlogs, especially if you are a returning viewer. I really appreciate it so much. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I just chuckle to myself because I'm like, a special person has to be new watching a vlog of mine and going like, yeah, I'll subscribe to that because they are pretty random and I don't really make a lot of effort anymore these days to put across a kind of aspirational artist life. This is literally just my life, which sometimes has me being an artist and sometimes uh, most of the time just has me being me, living my life and happening to also be an artist. I digress. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.